hello and welcome my friends um i got lot of uh, requests on my youtube channel to make some uh, video uh, tutorial video about git and github uh, many people want to know uh, or want to learn about this and uh, i thought i'll make some uh, tutorial a uh, few videos about it so I will try to cover Git and GitHub, uh, how to work with GitHub projects and uh, how to use Git command line. Um, I for one, uh, I like using uh, uh, Git command line rather than uh, GUI, but uh, there are uh, quite a bit of uh, good GUI um, uh, softwares available which you can use like uh, there is Git tortoise and so many things are there. So even in uh, most of the IDs uh, you work on irrespective of uh, what technology maybe Java you have Eclipse or uh, um, or on or for dotnet you have uh, your own ID so it's all uh, bundled up there and you may be using it but uh, I, I will be covering uh, command line because uh, if you get uh, uh, clear uh, clarification or if you are clear with the funda of uh, how git works behind the scenes then it will make your work very easy so today i will be covering a uh, few of the git uh, commands like git init status log and add and commit and all this so we will be seeing uh, what happens uh, behind the scenes and uh, how this is used and uh, so I will come back to this. So even before we get uh, started, so first thing first, how to install Git. So the best thing or easiest thing is to you can go to Git uh, Google and just uh, type Git download. And then th this is the first link which will come there SCM side. Uh, we go there and based on your uh, computer or laptop whatever you are using so if you are linux mac or windows you can directly go there and install i am on uh, mac so i go there and download uh, will start i have already done or uh, i'm in fact uh, with apple products apple mac uh, git comes uh, bundled up so it's all already there so once you do this it's a simple process of installing git uh, some um, there will be a wizard which you can follow steps and then install it and how to check whether your git is installed properly so in uh, Mac uh, or, uh, if you are on Windows go to command line and just type git hyphen version so this will show you what version of git you are using I am currently using git 2.14.3 and uh, so it means your git is ready to be used so now to explain uh, git uh, what git does and what happening with git um, I have created a project or a, so I will be taking this demo project as uh, two HTML files and I will be showing you how it works and what happens in this so there is one home dot HTML and index dot HTML so I will open this uh, let's see let's go open. let's let's go to <clears throat> let's see what's in my project and just give it a second so that it can open okay so this is my project git demo uh, so similarly you will have your own project uh, when you're working on your company or uh, in your personal uh, studies or somewhere so index and home there are two files they are very simple and easy files so i will be taking this example and working on it so first what we have to do we have to navigate to this folder so i will be navigating to it's on my de desktop and then it's git demo so now i am here so here are these two files home.html and index.html so first thing what you have to do to initialize git repository is to do git in it so what this does it will create a folder called dot git 
in your project so i have enabled uh, to show hidden folders in my uh, environment variable so that's why it's showing dot uh, git but for you if it doesn't show uh, you can go to command prompt and then do ls hyphen la so it will show you all hidden folders and everything along with that um, if mm, normally it will not show then uh, you can do this hyphen la command so what happened with this git initialized our repository but nothing has been uh, posed or uh, nothing has been uh, committed to the repository or there is no staging or anything happened so to check that that uh, what happening with that you can do git status so what status will do <clears throat> it will show you what is currently happening with this repository so here it's showing that on branch master no commits yet because we have not committed anything and then there are this untracked file so git is uh, by itself checking uh, that there are uh, two files home.html and index.html and they are not being tracked or they are not being pushed anywhere so let's try to push something uh, into git or uh, let's do git uh, add so we will add our index.html to the staging area so i will explain what is staging area so let's uh, let me clear it first clear and then let's check git status again <clears throat> so here now you see this index.html got uh, moved to staging area so what staging area is staging area is between your working directory and your actual committed uh, version till you commit your uh, file to uh, git it will be remaining into staging area by adding it so once you add it it moves to staging so staging you can think of something like uh, you have a soft copy of a file and uh, you keep working on it then uh, or when you print it it's like a commit so you have a hard copy it got printed and it's already moved into that version um, repository and then it's version there but till it moves there it's still in staging now you must be thinking that do I have to uh, do one by one all my files in my project folder and uh, then shall I go and do keep doing git add like home or if I have hundred of files no you don't so what you have to do if you do git add dot it will push everything in that folder to staging area so let's clear it once again and do git status so see now I didn't give any name but it pushed home.html also into staging area. So now uh, we have uh, two files in staging area and uh, we are uh, ready to commit them. So to commit any file what we have to do is uh, to do give a command called get commit and then the message. So let's give uh, this as message version 1 so this is uh, when I will issue that command it will commit my files home.html and index.html into um, git repository now if sometimes uh, if you are working it first time you might uh, get some something uh, some message saying something like this that please tell me who you are so git is uh, maintained by for many people like many people work on that repository so git has to know who is committing and who's uh, working on it so you may have to execute these uh, few commands uh, at first time when you do commit to set this uh, your global username and your email id so this is uh, uh, if you get that error message please execute this command and you will be able to move forward so now we have committed this files so let's see what is the git status now so it says that uh, nothing to commit and uh, working tree is clean because we have moved all our files from staging to uh, our uh, git repository and if you want to check what has been committed and what is there available and who committed it you can do git log and with git log you will be able to get this uh, 
all information like uh, the version one the message which i wrote so your message is not has to be very small you can write a very long message but it will show only the first line here and then it will show a long hash key number which uh, represent that what has been committed and then who committed and what time it has been committed so in this video we will cover till this and uh, in my next video i will talk more about staging area like how to work uh, properly with staging thank you <laughs>